AI agents only work when they have access to the right set of tools. Luckily, when you're building a retool, there are a few different ways to give your agent access to the tools it needs to be productive. Let's take a look at how that works. The tools section lives at the bottom of the configuration tab for your agent. Clicking on the add tool button shows you all the options you have available. As you can see, Retool gives you access to a library of pre-built tools that you can add to your agent with a single click. If you have existing workflows built in Retool or tools built for another agent, your current agent can use those tools as well. You can even use an entirely different agent as a tool. This allows you to build agents to do specific work, but still enables you to create complex multi-agent systems that can work as a team. And as more and more third-party services spin up MCP servers, you can link those servers to Retool to let your agent do real work in your other business systems. Finally, if you need a tool that's not covered by any of these options, you can create your own custom tool. When building on a custom tool, we first need to give it a name and a description. We can also decide if we want to ask the user for confirmation when the AI has chosen to use this tool, but before it runs. This is useful as a double check on tools that perform irreversible operations, like refunding a customer or writing to a database table. Then we define what parameters the tool expects. This is how our agent knows what information is necessary to call the tool. These parameters can either be required or optional. In this case, we'll build a tool that constructs a greeting for a user so we can ask for their name as a parameter. You can adjust the maximum time your tool can run before timing out, which is useful if your tool is calling a long-running API or takes longer than 10 seconds to execute. And finally, we can build out the function that powers our custom tool. Clicking the Edit Function button takes us into the Function Editor where we can lay out all the blocks our function needs to run properly. In this case, we'll add a code block that takes the name parameter and adds a greeting before returning it. Now, when we ask for a greeting in our agent's chat, we see that our tool is called and the user is greeted. And that's it. Hopefully your head is spinning with ideas of tools to connect to your agent, whether they already exist or you need to build them yourself. In a future video, we'll take a look at how to make sure your agent is calling the right tools and working as expected. See you next time.